Hey, welcome to another episode of Dave's Imaginations. Today, we're going to look at how to create a Star Trek-like transporter effect in your video. Before we get started, thank you for joining me. If you wouldn't mind, like, subscribe if that's uh, something you don't mind doing. And to get started, though, to get started, I just like to read through the process. Create your before video. Create your after video. Search YouTube or Google for a green screen transporter effect. Download the video or use QuickTime to screen capture the video. Trim the video in QuickTime. Search YouTube or Google for a transporter sound effect. Download the audio clip or use QuickTime to capture the audio. Trim the audio in QuickTime. Create a new project in iMovie. Pull in all video files and the audio clip. Put the before and after video clips in the timeline. Right click on the before video segment and click on add cross dissolve. Put the transporter effect on top of your videos so that it overlaps and bridges your two videos. Mark the transporter effect as having a green screen. Put the audio under the video so that it aligns with the transporter effect. Play with the speed of the transfer effect if necessary so that it matches the audio and then energize. And then also here I show you the green screen transfer effect from YouTube that I used and the transporter sound effect. That's the quick overview. Now stay with me and we'll go through the detailed process. <laughs> So here we are going to go get our before and after video clips and to do that I launched the QuickTime player and I cancel out of the file menu go ahead and file and new vid new movie recording and it launches the video of course it's not recording yet uh, get yourself in the right position and check your environment make sure you're in the right spots then go ahead and start the video and I let it run for a little bit get your pose just right and here we go everything looks cool and then we go ahead and stop the video clip and we go ahead and and now we're going to trim that up we're going to launch the trim application we're going to drag the yellow frame to where we want it and then we're going to hit the trim button once we hit the trim button We'll be uh, playing with it a little bit where exactly I want it. Hit the trim button, go back up to file, and we're going to click save and give it a name and a location. We know where to find it. Here I give it a name. It has something I can recognize. And we go get, uh, we give it a location, put it in with our, where we keep our movies, and then we'll save it. And then we jump over and we do the same process for the after. We launch QuickTime Player again, and we uh, create a get out of the file directory, and we're going to go ahead and do a new movie recording. And we're going to make sure as we do this, though, that we get the chair just the way we want it. So here I'm going to launch the, the movie. All right, here we go. Now we just get out of the chair, and then we got to move move that chair just where it is you want that environment to look just like it was be as you were sitting there now for me uh, the height of the chair wasn't quite perfect so i had to manipulate the height of the chair to get it because when i sit in the chair it compresses with that video done and looking good you go ahead and launch the trim effect again trim effect again and so trim it so you just see the chair all right and get just the way you want you click the trim button now your video clip has just the chair and we're going to save that again. We're going to save that a name you know, recognize, and a place you want it. Right? You go ahead and hit click save. Save right here. All right. Now what are we doing? We're going to go to iMovie, and we're going to launch a new project. Go into the project, and we're going to go ahead and open the folder where we have those movie clips. We're going to pull those movie clips in. Find the two clips. Now, you might notice that my wardrobe changed as these were recorded earlier. And then you pull the before video in and you pull in the after video in. Now, I go into the before video clip. 
I go into before video clip, I right click on it, I click it, and then I right click and I add cross dissolve to the video. And now if we drag over that, you can see real, oh, we see the effect starting to take place here. All right, now we're gonna go in and it's time to, it's time to go get our transporter effect. So I go launch YouTube, put in green screen transporter effect. I search and I find the video clip I like. It's got the green screen. I open that up and I see, uh, that uh, I got it going here and ah, I launched my QuickTime player, I launched the QuickTime player again. And now this time I'm going to get out of the file directory. I'm going to do a screen recording. And right, when I do the screen recording here, I need to resize the screen the portion of the screen I am recording. I, once you get that just the way you want it, get that the, grab the bars corners get it just exactly what you want then you go ahead and uh, click play now you kind of have to click this twice because uh, it right now you're in the quick time now you, you go over to the YouTube and you launch it now you want to move your cursor off to the side because if you don't it'll leave the bar at the bottom move the cursor off the side you let it play for for the amount of time you need it to get the the screen you want there you go that's what I want I stop it I go ahead and I stop my quick time recording I, there's my quick time recording and now I'm gonna go trim that up go trim that up grab the yellow frames to get it exactly where you want slide it over to the left and slide it from the right until you get just where you want. You can see there's other cool effects you could get in there, but for me, the one I wanted was just that large center transporter effect. So get those bars exactly the way you want. You click on the trim and uh, check it here. Here I just check it, make sure it works. Yep, that's exactly what I want. And so then I can go ahead and click save. Save and give it a name you want, a name you could recognize, and a place you want, and go ahead and save. Put the name you want click save and here we go all right and then we can then pull that transport effect into our iMovie and you can drag and drop you can search and find uh, here this time I drag and drop now you with the transport effect I just pull that down and I kind of bridge the gap I put it halfway over the before image and halfway after the after image but we have the green screen still so we need to go click on the video overlay settings and select on green screen video overlay settings and select green blue screen that way the green part disappears and boy is that effect starting to take take effect here now we need to go get our sound clip we go back into youtube we search for the transporter sound effect go ahead and search on that i find the video i like i find the video i like and where's it at where is it at? Yeah. So yeah, we wanted the next generation version. So we go ahead and launch that and get it going. Now this particular one has a bunch of different sound effects and you know, you only want the one, only want the effect I have. Now the one I did grab, I did grab both the in transporter effect and the out transporter effect. So from here I go ahead and I launch, I launch the quick time again, launch quick time player again. And this time I'm going to do an audio recording this file and new audio recording. So I get that going and I click on, go ahead and start recording. And I hit play. Oh, oh, I like to turn the volume all the way up, right? And that kind of blocks out any other sound that might be going. I launched the video, it's recording the sound. And uh, once I am satisfied that I have the sound as I want it, I then I then will stop the audio recording. I stop the audio recording. And now it's time to trim that up. All right, so I go in and trim. And I, so you can see this, you can really recognize the sound blurbs there. There's two parts. There's the in transporter sound effect and the out sound transporter effect. And I decided I wanted to keep both. So this first clip, I made the transporter effect in. <clears throat> And I saved it. As I saved it as transfer effect in. And save it to a spot you recognize. Now this particular time I put it in movies, I usually put it in a different folder, but here I think I just save it. Yep. And, oh, I rename it here to sound end sound. Okay. And uh, save. 
And then I go ahead and I trim right again for the out. Edit and trim. Move your yellow frame to frame just the sound you want. And click trim. And here we're going to go ahead and save. Again, save it. Some change here. I changed the word in to out. So I have transfer out sound. And then I hit save. Okay, all done there. Get out. Now it's time to pull those sound effects into. It's time to pull those sound effects into iMovie. I find the effects in Finder and I drag them over. So I also had re previously recorded the, the sound effects, but I, I find them there. There's the in sound and out sound. I want the out sound. In this particular video, I am transporting out. So I just grab the out sound. I grab it into my video clip, and now I can drag and position that that sound clip on below my uh, before and after videos. All right, now it's a matter of getting these position just correct, right? So you can click on each of those segments and move them just exactly where you want. Get it just the way you want and drop. And you can drag the sound clip and put it just exactly where you want. And, and I think I play with this just a little bit here. And as I, the face I want, as a, and I think that's a little early, so I move it over just a little bit, both the, the transporter effect and the sound effect. And then if you click on, then I say, well, I got too much video at the end of that. So I want to get rid of some of that. So I do a command R. I first, I click on the video portion and then I find just the spot I want to end it. And I hit a command R to highlight the, it frames up in yellow, then I drag for section, and then I just click delete, and that part goes away. Delete. All right, but now I have a lot of chair, and as we look at that, there's my transport effect going, and I disappear, but I look at the chair, and I see shadows. I don't like those shadows. I'm going to get rid of those shadows. So we're going to click that, and we're going to, again, command R, drag, delete, so I got, I got a nice front end, but now I don't need all the chair in the back end. So I click Command R, I drag to the right, I hit Delete, it's gone. Okay, now it's pretty close, but that transporter effect is, is seeming a little bit short. So I go ahead and I click, right click on it and I speed controls and I make that transporter effect a little bit uh, longer or I make it slower. And so I fill up the space, drag it all the way across till the end of the video, and maybe that's too long, right? And so I'm thinking, I don't need that long of a transport effect. And so the next thing I do is I uh, click on the sound effect, and I'm going to trim that up a little bit right here in iMovie. Posi reposition a little bit, then I clicked on the sound effect. Again, it's Command R, drag, highlight, and delete. So I delete a little at the front end. Oh, there's a little overhang there. I go highlight that and get rid of that. And then I got to reposition it again. And then at the back end, I got a little extra that I don't need there. So I click Command R, drag, delete. And now I can shorten up that, that transfer effect. And that's looking good. That's looking good. All right. So I think that's about it. Oh, oh, no, I don't need all that, that chair still. There's still a little more there I can get rid of. So I highlight the, the remaining chair and I get it all lined up. And I think we're good. It looks like we got what we want. In the upper hand, right hand corner, you click on the share and you export to a file. You give it a name and then all you have to do is run it. Energize. So there you have it, a cute little special effect for a transporter. Now, this was made as a behind the scene or behind the screen video for my Dungeons and Dragons group. Uh, the group had requested a sound effect for a teleportation ring. And there was a little bit of debate of, oh, they very quickly wanted a Star Trek like sound effect. And so there's a little bit debate of, did they want Star Trek Next Generation? Or original series hmm which one would you have wanted are you a next generation person or 
original series person? Yeah, maybe you'd let me know in the comments. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, um, this is behind the scenes, and, and a lot of my videos are about my Dungeons and Dragons game and recaps. I get it, um, but if you don't mind, like, subscribe if you want, and uh, I'll see you soon. Uh -huh.